before starting the video to like here and comment and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Our today's topic is about NASA wants to send nuclear rockets to Moon and Mars. Is back. Nuclear propulsion first floated in the 60s is hot again. President Trump's Mars ambitions might even hinge on it. Just north of the Tennessee River near Huntsville, Alabama, there is a six-story rocket test stand in a small clearing of Love Lobby Pines. It's here in a secluded corner of NASA Marshall Space Flight Center that the U.S. Army and NASA performs critical tests during the development of Redstone rocket. In 1958, this rocket became the first to detonate a nuclear weapon. Three years later, it carried the first American into space. The tangled history of nukes in space is again resurfacing just up the road from the Redstone test stand. This time NASA engineer wants to create something deceptively simple, a rocket engine powered by nuclear fuel. A nuclear rocket engine would be twice as efficient as the chemical engines powering rockets today. But, despite their conceptual simplicity, small-scale fission reactors are challenging to build and risky to operate because they produce toxic waste. Space traveling is dangerous enough without having to worry about a nuclear meltdown. But for future human vision to the Moon and Mars, NASA believes such risk may be necessary. At the center of the NASA nuclear rocket program is Bill Emmerich, this man who literally wrote the book on nuclear propulsion. According to the Emmerich, we can do nuclear propulsion but it's really hard. Going further, then the moon is much better with nuclear propulsion. Emmerich has been researching nuclear propulsion since the early 90s. But his work has taken on a sense of urgency as the Trump administration pushes NASA to put boots on moon asset in preparation for a journey to Mars. Although we don't need a nuclear engine to get to the moon, it would be as invaluable testing ground for the technology, which will almost certainly be used on any crewed missions to Mars. Let's get one thing clear. A nuclear engine won't host a rocket into orbit. That's too risky. If a rocket with a hot nuclear reactor blew up onto the launch pad, you could end up with a Chernobyl-scale disaster. Instead of regular chemically propelled rocket will hoist a nuclear-powered spacecraft into orbit which would only then fire up its nuclear reactor. NASA Administrator called Nuclear Propulsion a Game Changer and told Vice President Mike that using fission reactor in space is an amazing opportunity to U.S. should take advantage of. It's not the first time NASA had flooded with nuclear rockets. NASA started scheming about a permanent lunar base and a first crew mission to Mars by the early 80s. But, as with so many NASA projects, nuclear rocket engines soon fell out of favor and the office in charge of them shut down. There was technical hurdles too, but the concept of nuclear rocket engine is simple enough. The reactors bring hydrogen to blistering temperature and the gas is expelled through a nozzle, designing reactor that could withstand their own heat. The reactor used in rocket engine must be cranked to more than 4000 degrees Fahrenheit. Think of it like a big microwave oven, Emmerich says. Call entries for nuclear thermal rocket element environmental simulator. This project has been the backbone of NASA quite returned to nuclear propulsion.
American team used a simulator large chamber to study how material react to extreme heat without incurring the cost or danger of a full nuclear engine as NASA did in the 60s. NASA's next was to develop the hardware needed to take the engine from theory to reality. In 2017, NASA awarded BWX Technology a three years $19 million contract to develop the fuel and reactor components necessary for a nuclear engine. The following years, Congress earmarked $100 million in NASA budget for the development of nuclear propulsion technologies. And this year, they got another boost when Congress added $125 million for nuclear propulsion. But before a nuclear rocket engine get into its first flight, NASA need to overhaul its regulation for launching nuclear material. In August, the White House issued a memo that tasked NASA with developing safety protocol for operating nuclear reactor in space. Once they are adopted by NASA, the stage will be set for the first flight of a nuclear engine as soon as 2024. This coincides with the Trump deadline to return America astronaut to the moon. But maybe this time they will be hitching a ride on a nuclear rocket. That's all from our today video. Thank you so much for watching.